What's up guys? Today we have a uh, 1998 Polaris Explorer 400 in here and uh, it's a two-stroke. The issue with this one is uh, it will barely idle, um, doesn't run well at all. It's very, very hesitant when you give it throttle, sometimes it likes to stall out. Um, so first thing we do is check compression, especially with it being a two-stroke. Um, everybody's going to say go for the carb, go for the carb. Not yet. We'll get to that. First thing we're going to do is check compression because if we don't have compression, we're wasting our time with anything. So I'll see if it will uh, start up. Um, so you can see what it's doing. See if I can do it right handed. That's usually what it does, even though it's cold now, it'll idle like maybe 300 RPM and uh, just stall out, even when it's fully warmed up and everything. So, First thing we're gonna do is uh, check compression. So take out the spark plug right there, pop your cap off, uh, 13 16 socket. Take the spark plug out, screw this in there instead. This is a uh, compression tester. And then once this is screwed in, we're gonna crank the motor over with the throttle wide open and uh, we're gonna see how much compression it reads. So let me get this uh, spark plug popped out and the tester in there and then I'll be back in just a second. All right guys, so I have the uh, compression tester installed now. It's screwed into the spark plug hole up there on the other end. Um, so now we're gonna go crank it and I'm not gonna be able to hold the phone um, at the same time. Cause like I said, you gotta uh, hold the throttle wide open. So we're just gonna crank it over for about five seconds. Um, make sure you have a good charged battery, um, plenty of juice there so it cranks over nice and fast. So hold your throttle wide open, crank it for a couple of revolutions, about five seconds, and then uh, we'll go check our compression. down here and check out the gauge and it uh, looks like about 105 110 pounds of compression so we should be good there that shouldn't be the issue so the next thing we're gonna do um, uh, we're not gonna worry about spark because it was running so uh, we obviously know there's spark but if you if your machine wasn't running um, the next thing you would do is check spark so just put your spark plug in the end of the wire ground it on something metal crank it over and uh, make sure you have spark um, but since I don't have spark, the next thing I'm going to do is there's a, a bolt on the bottom of the engine crankcase. It's like a drain bolt, and I'm going to take that out and let all of the gas or oil, whatever's in there, drain out, if there is any. And uh, I will, I believe I got to take the skid plate off on this one to get to it. So let me pop that off, and then I'll show you where that bolt's located. Underneath the four-wheeler now, so those two holes right there are the two screws that you're going to take out. They're right next to the starter, and as you can see, there was oil in there. Um, there's something that came out. So um, let as much drip out as you can just by gravity, and then go up there and hold, <clears throat> hold the throttle wide open and uh, crank it over again. Make sure you have the spark plug or the compression tester or something in there um, so it still has compression to suck in, um, suck in air and blow this stuff out the bottom. So we'll get that done and then we'll blow a little compressed air in there and uh, try to get as much of this trash out as we can. All right guys, so I got it all back together after I uh, took the screws out of the bottom and drained the fuel and oil out of it. And uh, she's idling good. All I had to do is just adjust the mixer screw on the carburetor a little bit. But uh, it's gone with it now, so there's that. Shut her off. Um, so yeah, hopefully that'll uh, fix your issue if you have the same thing going on that I do. Um, just drain the extra oil and stuff out of the bottom of there and then there's a reason it's in there so you got to figure out um, is it the float needle isn't uh, seated all the way in your carburetor letting fuel uh, dump straight in the motor or in the case of mine the oil injection pump sits down there in the bottom um, actually failed and instead of not giving enough oil it did something weird where it was putting too much oil in it uh, so I just blocked that off and now we pre-mix the fuel for it. Um, so yeah, just figure out uh, what what actually caused the issue, uh, why there's extra fuel and oil in the crankcase. Um, otherwise, you're going to have the same issue over again. So hope that helps. Um, if you liked the video, slap a like on it, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.